Good morning everybody, how's it going? It's Friday and this morning I'm going to be uh, hauling a load of uh, silage bales, delivering it to someone because we don't need it. So I'm going to take you along, I'm going to film as much of it as I can. I've got to go to, I don't really know where I'm going, my brother's been doing this delivery. So that'll be good fun if we get lost. And yeah, the tractor's looking proper nice and clean. It's looking very smart. I'm just filling up with some ad blue because don't want to run out of that. But once that's done, we'll be on the way, so I'll get going. So it was a beautiful morning this morning. It's almost a bit spring-like, but I think the weather's still a, uh, a week or so away. Yeah, that's in. Yeah, so this morning is so perfect spring, spring morning, proper sunny, there's not much wind but that's what the ground needs to dry out properly is a nice bit of wind but rain's weather forecast and um, it appears that maybe not next week it's still going to be a bit wet but the following week then we're I reckon we're going to be on then so that's like what the 21st of March and that will come in perfectly for this uh, this new thing that's coming that I can't wait to show you guys. It'll be really good, it'll be so cool, but I mean, you just have to wait and see until then, so stick around for that. <coughs> so this, well, but I've got 20 minutes to get to the yard, load up, and then it's gonna be an hour drive to get there, because this, we're literally, traveling all the way out to the coast yeah it's pretty much out on the cliff this place so um yeah should be good right so i've just loaded up as you can see now i was going to put the drone up in the air and um film some of that like maybe time up to me loading up but then when i got here uh, Western Power here doing something to the uh, lines, like telegraph lines, so I thought probably best if I don't because there's people all around, so I'll get the drone up another day, especially when we're on doing groundwork, that'll be perfect for it. But as you can see, I've, I've loaded my bales up, my round bales, which are so wet that they've turned into square bales, so by the the woman that is buying them, she's already had two or three loads and to be fair, the cows do, are, they do actually eat the, um, they do like the wet silage, uh, they do seem to get through it, but these bales are a pain in the ass to load up. I was having to load up one at a time because if you do two, they don't travel well together and then they, it's, you can literally squish these bales into shape so <laughs> you can easily fit them on the trailer and all that. But yeah, they are such a pain to load and just travel with. So, oh well, we've loaded now and uh, we get there. I think the woman's actually at the cattle market today. So I think I've got to unload myself. So I've no idea what tally hander they've got. Probably a Merlot. No idea. Well, I've got some idea of where I'm going, but we'll just have to see. <coughs> But yeah, like I said, it's a um, it's gonna take me about an hour to get there because uh, it's literally right out on the cliff. So no, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of four-wheel drive here. Oh, she got it. Right, so I've I've just checked my maps, my snap maps, and. Um, this is where the fun starts. So it's up this hill, and here we go. Oh, mind out, mate. Oh, fucking that's it. Whip it right out.
Now, like I said, that honestly, not really. Well, I've been given directions, but I don't think I've ever been out this way before. So, and out here, basically, there's just loads of little villages. So, pretty much, if I take the wrong turn, I'm going to end up in one of these small villages and end up getting myself screwed. So, the last thing I want to do is take a wrong turn. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Got a fair old pull for the T7 this is. That's it, we're making our way up. <coughs> I was thinking, because I've just driven past my school, so, my college, so, I was thinking I should uh, pop in there, go to my lesson, but <laughs> probably not the best idea. Would look smart though, this park outside the school, sure, would get a lot of attention from everyone. Cheers, mate. So yeah, I think, what, well, I think it's taken me 40 minutes so far, something like that. It's a bit of a shame really, I couldn't get the drone up at the yard when I was loaded up. But, yeah, like I said, there's people everywhere and I was like, oh, just get on with it. And these bales are a pain in the ass, so, would have looked a bit messy, but, we'll see. Then we've got to try and, uh, get on with their their telly handler because all our telly handlers are pivot steer so um that's what i'm used to we've used well me and my brother wants to pick up rape straw and used the farmer's merlot and we fucking that was difficult we found that hard work because you don't have because we're loading bales in the field and we found that you don't have that like because with the pivot steer you can like twist it round and push the bales in sort of thing but with the like Merlot you gotta like you got you haven't got that maneuverability but I mean I reckon if you uh, if that's what you drive then I'm sure you know how to use it well but yeah we didn't find it too good Fair farm down there. Now I've got to turn right here in a minute, I think. Fucking hell, chaos here now. This will be good fun. Right. Fucking hell, this is gonna be good fun. I can say that I've never actually, uh, well.
nearly fucking destroyed that bale. <laughs> Done. Now back to the yard, and I think if I've got time, I'm feeding the bullocks. So we'll get on and do a bit of that, and then we're out tonight for a party, and then we are as well on Saturday night. So there isn't much farming going on. That's going to annoy me, that is. Now I've got a nice drive home, so. Yeah, that JCB was actually pretty good, especially because they grabbed their spikes that they had, it was like a long spike and a short spike like that. It got a hold of those bells quite well, and I found found it was definitely a lot easier to um, pick up the bells two at a time. And also, um, at the start when I was using it, I forgot that you got to like reverse out straight, sort of thing, or like because when you're using the um, telescopic manitou then uh or like map bro or whatever then you're able to like yeah because i remember that when you use a pivot steer teleander you can sort of turn and get out of it where with that thing i was finding you have to reverse like straight and it's definitely hard to see here where boom is like you definitely can't see that well which makes it get getting the bells together is a lot harder but i mean if you use one, you're probably fucking sick with it, but obviously I'm used to uh, pivot steer ones and that's, that's the way it is. But yeah, so I'm going to put the GoPro down and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. I don't know. Obviously, I'll probably film this video will probably be out on Tuesday or something. So I don't really know what's going to happen between now and then. But whatever I put in is what happens, so I'll see you then.